Hey everyone, I'm Keychain. and today we're going to go over a beginner's guide to honing and enhancing. Now, after you've crafted the Fire Demon guard weapons, you can do what's called honing on them. Now, in the main menu here, you there's the Upgrade tab and the Hone tab. When you hit Hone, you can go down here and each time you hit the Hone button, it's going to, after your 5 free each day, it's going to cost you 100 gold to roll three benefits. And here's an example. I got troop attack, troop defense, and cavalry attack. Now the other thing you can see is that two of these are green and one's blue. Let me show you the difference out here. The best roll you can get is purple, followed by blue, and then green. So the goal here is to get three purple benefits on each weapon and to get attack stats. Um, you may want in the future to have a different set of guard weapons for gathering or other type things, which I could totally see happening. But for now, you're going to probably want your main stats, unless it's your farm, to be attack stats or, you know, stats of that nature. So, going back to the honing process, I can either keep these three, or I can re-roll, and each time I, I re-hone, I get the choice to retain my old benefits or keep my new ones. So here we're just going to keep honing until we get a purple benefit. So we're just going to keep clicking through, burning gold, trying to get a purple benefit. There's distance attack. So we're going to hit replace here. Now, you can lock in this distance attack. And when I do, the price to hone goes up because only these two, the top and the bottom, are going to hone now. So we're kind of fine-tuning. It gets more expensive. So we're going to keep going, trying to get another purple stat. A purple attack stat, I should say. So here's infantry attack. So we're going to replace this. We're going to keep it by locking it in. Now the price went to 2,000 gold per hone, and each time it's just going to hone the top stat. So here we're looking for another purple. We're just going to burn through these trying to get another purple stat. This one I might keep, um, but for now, for purposes of the video, I'm just going to keep going till we get a purple. So that's what we're after. Now, it takes a while, and it's all random. It might cost you 4,000 gold, or you know, you might get lucky like I just did. This was a pretty lucky set to end all three. Now here's the other thing you, ha you have to be careful of. You can't lock the third stat. You can't lock it and say, I'm done with this. So be careful not to accidentally overwrite a weapon that you have three purple stats on, unless you want to change it and you want to go for all troop attack or all troop stats, which are more powerful than individuals. Let's do one more weapon, try and get all purples on this one as well, just so you can see kind of what it takes. So just looking for the color purple with attack stats. So on here, we got cavalry attack, so we're going to keep that. And now we'll hone for, see, that one was, that was super lucky. That's awesome. So it only cost me 400 gold to get a second purple stat. And I have a blue for my third. So if I was running low on gold, this is a great weapon and it barely cost me anything. So I would definitely keep this on the live server. Now, since we're on the test server, we're going to keep going and go for that final purple stat and do it one more time for you guys. And this one looks like it's going to be more expensive than the others were. So that's 120,000, 100, or not, no, 14, 16,000, 18,000, 20,000, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58. So it took us 58,000 gold to get three 
purple benefits. Now let's talk about enhancing. So every day you get five free attempts to enhance the weapons that you've honed. And each time you enhance, there's a chance to either increase or decrease the stats of each benefit. So this first time enhanced, I gained about 7% on each of the three stats, which is pretty good. So I'm going to accept those. And we're going to enhance again. And this one was pretty decent as well. I got all positive stats. So I'm going to also choose the replace option to add those stats on. The third attempt, not very good. So I think that I'm going to choose the retain option to back this off and then try again. Now, this attempt, I got a negative number. So the problem with this is the negative number is on the troop attack, which is the one that I want the most. So I'm going to hit the retain button to back this one off as well. And final enhance. Let's see what we get. Looks like a pretty good one. I got 16% on top, 7.5% on the troop attack, and the bottom was a slight gain. Now the other thing I want to show you guys is the enhanced statistics stay with the weapon. So the place on the bar stays the same. And it doesn't matter if you rehone them, the percentages stay the same. So I'm going to rehone this weapon a couple of times to show you that it stays the same. You can see when I choose this cavalry health, it's already at 79%. And that's because I've enhanced this weapon already. So now we're going to go for the third purple stat, and I cut out a bunch of the attempts in between because I didn't want to run on again, burning, you know, 25, 30 attempts worth of gold. So I just want to show you guys that the enhancements stayed the same, and enhancements don't go away. So that's a good thing as far as free-to-play progression, and I hope you all agree. It's going to be hard to get purple, but when we finally do, or if you get lucky, It'll be worth it, and you'll still have your enhancements from when you had blue or purple stats, or blue or green stats. Now, here's my final results from the test server. Just throwing those up on the screen for a little bit of fun. And it was expensive. It was like 900,000 gold. So something to look forward to on the live server. Um, hit the like and subscribe button, and thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.